Right guys, good morning. Here we go. York, we are in Yorkie Lucy's car. This is not my car. This is uh, Yorkie Lucy's car. And we're going to uh, High Beach, which is uh, part of Epping Forest. It's uh, up the 406 and uh, come off at Woodford, the waterworks roundabout, and head for Epping. And we're going to have a little stroll in High Beach. It's a bit of a spooky uh, forest, really, uh, where a lot of uh, motor motorcyclists uh, gather. And uh, it's quite a nice place, especially in the summer. A lot of uh, motor enthusiasts, walkers, dog walkers really uh, go, especially on a Sunday. Just before they have their roast lunch, they go for a walk there, get themselves an appetite. And um, yeah, so I thought today would be a lovely day. To, well, it's not a lovely day, it's a bit of a gloomy day today and um, I thought it's nice to come and charge the batteries up with the car because it's only sitting there and I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit fed up with the with the public transport it's a little bit dirty really honestly every time every time I come home I've got some sort of uh, marks on my trousers you know sort of uh, black marks wet marks and, I, and I'm thinking where the hell I'm not wetting myself am I <laughs> Gosh, what's happening here? They've closed one lane on the other side for some reason, some sort of maintenance. Oh yeah, they're maintaining the, the lights, the warning light, because this, this is Connaught Bridge we're on, and it opens up for boats to go in and out. So they're maintaining the lights. Going towards uh, Prince Regent Lane on uh, A13, and then, and then come off up, uh, on the North Circular, head towards, uh, M11 that way just going into we're just riding ar around the XL on the other side towards Prince Regent Lane I've got my new jacket yeah so much nicer it's more comfortable and we're going to test it out see how warm it is and how it breathes because sometimes well I've got jackets like for walk proofs and stuff they're no good when you're walking around vlogging and um, they tend to make you sweat they don't breathe in and out in and out you know so you need a jacket that does breathe otherwise it just makes you sweat we're at Prince Regent Lane now with people uh, a lot of housing and stuff like that here comes the, the foggy 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 windows because I've put the heating on we've got fog let's get this off so I don't really use the car that much because of the traffic around London Oh, I can't stand it really. It's so bad. I'd rather go out of London, go and spend a night out and then come back or spend the whole day out and then come back. But I have to rush back to, uh, to do the dinner for my little girl. Finishes school and uh, so make sure she's got a good dinner. So uh, I'm a good cook, yep. <laughs> sometimes she likes my cooking and sometimes. <laughs> when I put too much vegetables in it, she doesn't like it. We've got Lucy with us. She's uh, taking a nap at the moment. She's in her bed. Hey, Lucy Boosie. Yeah, she's all seat belted up. She don't like it because she can't sit on my lap when she's seat, seat belted. So, anyway, so guys, it's um, I noticed the night uh, the night vlogs are much better. It's a different atmosphere during the day. It just looks so grey and um, lifeless. I say people are look a bit not too happy and it's a different atmosphere a lot of younger people come out at night and they're all happy and buzzy and yeah I, I, I prefer to do nights really because uh, another thing I, Lucy can't come out at night so and I can concentrate on the vlogging because during the day she she pulls me tugs me and I don't really like to leave her leave her indoors on her own really I feel so sorry for her it's where we live in an apartment we don't have a back garden or anything like that for her to go for a stroll or so I have to keep coming out out of my apartment really yeah we're on the 813 now we're coming up towards uh, the East Ham flyover or we call it Beckton flyover and then we're going to turn left on the 813 I'll, I'll give you a bit of a road good old look 
on the OA13. I'm come uh, around three o'clock-ish. This is solid, absolutely solid. Davis Centre on our right-hand side where the shopping Sainsbury's and uh, B&Q's are. Lucy's fa favourite shop, Pets at Home. And here we come, gonna come off, off the A13, straight on the, the 406. A406 North Circular. There's several ways of um, going to uh, High Beach actually. There is a way you can go through Woodford, there's a way you can go up the M11, come off at Loughton, Debden Loughton, and uh, cut through there. I think we needed to go uh, to get some petrol really. We're running a little bit on the low side. I thought I forgot in my wallet. <laughs> I've had a good old breakfast this morning, I had three eggs, so on toast. I don't know which way to go, this guy's good. You know, they, they, they take the most ridiculous movements and then, and, then, and then they just sit there. They don't just go, they just sit. Oh, dear me. They don't make an effort, you help them out, but they just do not make an effort to keep up with the speed limit. You know, they just sit there. They don't, they've got no planning. You know, they don't look ahead or anything like that, so they like indicate last lastminute.com. The reason why I have chosen to go this way and to go to High Beach is because to keep away from the traffic, really, because if I want, I, I do like Kent, I like to go out in Kent, but going through that Blackwall Tunnel, when coming back, it's a nightmare. It's just people just, it's just such a, a nightmare that black tunnel and then what I heard that they're, they're gonna start charging people to go through it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I like to keep my keep on to the speed limit, keep my uh, cruise control on and just that's it, you know. I mean I, I don't really like to go too fast. I don't break the speed limit. I'd rather just go underneath the speed limit or just just not on the speed limit. I'm glad the car got serviced. All the lights are off the dash. Wow, it feels good, it makes me feel good. It's like going places now, Lucy. Because I'm sure she doesn't like, she does like going in the city, but I, I think she prefers to go in a forest or something like that, or on the beach. Plus I've still got that metal detector I haven't used, but I don't think I could uh, vlog, keep Lucy with me and vlog and use the metal detector. I think it'll be a bit too much. I don't know why I feel hungry. My, my stomach's starting to rumble. Food. I had a feeling he was going to do that, but I really did. I think the best way really to go to avoid the traffic is go through Loughton, go on the M11. Just jump on the M11 and come off at Loughton. Go through uh, Debden and Loughton, yeah. Just going over Redbridge, uh, flyover underneath us is the red bridge roundabout notorious roundabout i hate it because everybody's just in the wrong lane like again uh, indicating lastminute.com okay. i'm going to keep at the speed limit that's it because just about here the road's in a terrible state on the left you'll see the cars jumping up and down in a minute that's it I hate that. But uh, the roads look a little bit on the old uh, frosty side, and uh, I don't think they're frozen yet. A lot cooler than, uh, or colder than yesterday. Yesterday was cold enough, but I think today's uh, a little bit on the cold, colder so side of uh, things, and they're not as sunny as yesterday. Yesterday was quite a bit sunny, so especially in the afternoon. So we'll have to start looking for a little bit of content now, really. Places to go. I was thinking of doing that. Um, somebody came up with a, an idea of doing uh, the Whitechapel, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? They came up with an idea of going to Whitechapel. Jack the Ripper, that's it, sorry. Jack the Ripper. I was concentrating on the road there. Jack the Ripper. And um, I, I had a look about that. And um, I think it's... Uh, it's quite complicated. There's quite a lot of uh, different theories because they never proved who really killed. They say it's they had about 50 suspects. 
and uh, and it actually goes into the city as well the murders and there's two I had a look at it and um, there's like you've got the city of the city boundary where the city police patrol and they were both involved in this evidence and uh, you know it is quite quite a lot to do on Jack the Ripper because everybody's got a different theory so I might do a little bit of it I might go into Whitechapel but a lot of uh, the evidence is not there like you know the buildings are not there anymore because in the Second World War a lot of the buildings and the streets and the most dangerous street in Whitechapel's not there anymore but but where they uh, kept the bodies after you know after the killing and uh, uh, still there but it's all spread out it's quite spread out in a large area I don't think I could cover it in uh, walking wise in a day I'd like to but I'll have to think about that a bit more really I'd like to do it but there's there's quite a lot of detailed dates hours time what day of time it was obviously it was at night and it was quite gruesome really what he did to the bodies very gruesome sickly gruesome really do I really want to do that mm, well I'd like to have a go but it needs a bit more thinking about really anyway we're coming off here this is the Loughton turn off hey Lucy getting excited time we slow down she gets excited things behind the road turn left we're going straight across you're getting excited you can smell the forest from here we're not too far actually this is Debden so straight ahead is uh, Loughton and then um, this is little Debden village actually first going on underneath a uh, bridge um, I think it's uh, is this central line I don't know if it's a central line Debden got all the shops here on the left oh, sorry on the right got quite big schools here as well really nice schools a bit of built a lot of uh, new apartments around here so I think they're trying to get people to move up this way a little bit you know what these apartments are like these days they're like shoe boxes and I live in one <laughs> yes we're done again she's getting so excited she's like shaking you start shaking Lucy do you recognize this place hey yeah we're going walkies poor thing she hasn't been eating properly really I don't know why she just so f goes off food sometimes. I put all types of chicken, her normal biscuit, her normal foods. Just, she just likes to eat treats. <laughs> if you turn left, it's uh, Buckers Hill and Loughton, and turn right, which goes towards Epping. Waltham Abbey, that's a nice place. Waltham Abbey, foresty bit now. So go up here, we'll end up in a roundabout. So there's a bit of uh, traffic up there for some reason, Lucy. I hope it's not muddy because I really don't want muddy uh, trainers. I've got my trainers just three loads. I've got roadworks. I'll call you back. Call you back. So, we got roadworks, Lucy. Hey? Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Single file traffic's okay. It's three way. So on the way back, we'll go through Woodford. Might be. Well, that, that dust cart's moving. Lovely colours of the trees. Autumn. Well, winter now, isn't it? I don't know. When does autumn finish? You can come here, park your car and walk, walk around here. This is all at Epping Forest. They've got little car parks here. You can uh, come in and park. It's quite expensive around here to park. Turn left here. We can go High Beach further on and enter an I'd rather go for the main entrance but I was coming from Woodford you can go straight across and then do a left one of the little sides sides Rosie there is a wild deer here and last time I've done a video here we saw a wild deer quite big isn't it parking spaces here you can come I don't know why I'm so hungry I'm hungry all of a sudden Lucy I don't know why I might have had breakfast or something to bring my woolly hat out Do a right time, why don't you? Yeah, go have a cup of tea, Lucy. Yeah, cup of 
tea. Normally have a cup of tea and a fruit cake. It's quite expensive. There's a couple of pubs I think here. Years ago we used to come here. Years ago, quite on a regular base. People walking about. A bit of spooky really. I wouldn't like to come here at night. Quite a few gravestones about. There's quite an old church here. I don't know how old it goes back. I have to Google it. Each. I'll put it on a description. I'll Google this in a description or thingy so you can uh, have a read up of High Beach. This is getting so exciting. There's a church here. I think the church one is the house. There's a pub here on the right. I think this is it. This one further up the pub. Yes. We're going to go walking. She loves the forest, don't you? She just built for a forest. This is the King's Oak. That's it. We normally go up there. Somebody up your chuff, isn't it? Here we go. Tea stall open. We are open. There you go, guys. This is where I normally get my cup of tea. Must be his birthday. Lucy has a birthday every day. Lucy's birthday. Let's go and see. Let's go and park here. Guys. So we normally walk down there. There's a big hill down there. On the line. Lucy, wait. So impatient. Wait. Right. Guys. I'm just going to get myself prepared and Lucy's getting so excited. <laughs> I'll catch you a bit further on. Right, we're back again guys. We're literally just parked up and we're back again. Lucy's uh, dying to get off her leash. Don't know, the, the grass is really frosty so it must have been minus here. Quite cold. So it's a bit of a spooky forest. As we go down here, a little, uh, a little ravine, a canyon, if you like to call it. <laughs> Not really. Uh, we'll have a little walk about, a bit of a chit chat, and uh, yeah, have a look around. We've been here before. Have we, Lucy? Let I let you off your lead? Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Good girl. She stops. Good girl. Go on. There isn't a lot of people about. It's quite quiet here, really such a big place but that's a good spot to park over here because there's a tea stall there and the pub's there if you want a meal you can come and have a meal at a uh, king's oak but it's supposed to be quite nice actually especially they do lovely uh sunday uh, roasts and stuff like that yeah yeah guys so uh don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe yeah, a little uh comment as well so try to think somewhere else to go tomorrow I'm not doing anything weekend. I might go out tomorrow at night, do a few vlogs at night. Um, might do a stream this weekend. So do a live stream, pretty good. Talk about things. I do it in my car now, instead of sitting at home. It looks much better. I can do it at home. Lucy, don't get wet. Lucy, this way. Come on, look, she's got all her paws muddy. I have to give you a bath if you get in. Yeah, this way. Come on, let's go. You get your bed all wet. Uh, it's freezing, Lucy. What are you talking about going in there? This way, this way, this way. Don't go there. She likes to get in the mud, doesn't she? Typical Yorkie. The trouble. The grass is a bit overgrown that way. I suppose the water runs down there when you've got loads of water. You get a little, uh, what do they call it, a dike or stream? And yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it, this forest? I like it. I prefer this better than Hainal. Hainal's too open, very windy. It's good for kite flying. You've got big open space to fly a kite, but here's a bit enclosed and it just looks so much older and uh, it's got too it's got a lot of character I suppose, I'd say, this uh, Epping Forest. We can go to Epping. We could do a video of Epping uh, town park up at Epping go into one of the park up oh you're cold I can see you holding your paw up because you're frozen it's quidgy here Lucy let's go up a bit yeah park up at one of the Sainsbury's or Tesco's car parks in Epping and uh, walk about Rod Stewart Sir Rod Stewart lives there somewhere but I don't know where is his house but that's where he lives and I think a lot of footballers and stuff stars they live out that way as well Lucy you're going all along the... I'm sure she's cold she loves it she loves being out this is this is the perfect for Yorkies 
they love bushes they love all this weaving in and out all different smells hey Lucy it's a shame it's all winter now oh there's quite a few spikes here Lucy should have come out with new welly boots really it's a welly boot uh, should we go up come on then let's go up yeah I'll put my woolly hat on because it is really cold basketball uh, basketball baseball caps are a bit too cold for this weather type weather really it's nice and snug and warm I like it here just over there just over there it's beautiful the way these trees must be so old the size of them like giants got all little arms like a horror something out of a horror you know you get in a forest dark deed forest when they come alive that's what it reminds me so that's why I said it's got so much character this forest high beach that's where we are Epping high beach a couple of ways to come up here depends where you are but it's not muddy don't mind if it's hard as long as it's not squidgy mud to try it out is it like loose obviously horses have been here you can see horse hooves and big dogs well they are big dogs <laughs> Big footprint of dogs. Big dog there, look. Can you see that? There's big claws. Big hounds. That's why I told you it's a bit of a spooky place. It's not too soft. It's not too bad. It's a little bit squidgyish. And there's no wind. That's the nice thing. No wind. Oh, is lovely. You can see it. You can see by the body language. She's absolutely loving it. Are you loving it? Got my bag. Keep all my uh, camera gear here, guys. I wouldn't mind going back to one of the coasts, actually. Today would have been a nice day because it's not windy, even though it's cold. But I think uh, at the weekend, the temperature goes up to double figures. One, one day, I think Sunday, is it? 15. Ooh, nice. Really nice. Look at this tree. It looks like it's coming alive. It's going to get me. Ooh, very spooky. Looks like he's got his face there with his eyes and his mouth and his chin. Can you see that? There's a muddy path over there. It's a bit too muddy. It's like really squidgy. That tree looks a bit... Really got character, that tree. Massive character. Look at it. Half of it's disappeared. Look at that path. It's still alive. It's a little bit squidgy. Squidgy, squidgy, Lucy. Come on. Woo! Wow, this looks like fun. These do have a look at that tree! How much holes it's got in there. And it's bark. And it's trunk. Trunk. Wow. It's still alive. So that amazing tree. Spooky forest. This has got to be the spookiest forest. Do you know any other spooky forest guys? Look at that. Let me let me try and get a thumbnail here guys. Am I doing it? Am I doing it any justice? Yeah. Spooky forest. Wow. It's still alive, look. It's got big bark there, yeah. trunk. It's coming down here, look. Look at that. It's still alive. Well done. Wow. It, it, it's mutating, isn't it? I'd say. Look at that. So you making that noise. I think somebody's creeping up on us, Lucy. Wow. This must be so pretty. So we're not around this way. Wow, that's a tree and a half. But it's still alive. There's another one here. They're all like that. I wonder why. Dead. Might be disease. Look Why are you running? Trying to life out of my skull for someone's chasing you. Wow, why is she bolting like that? <laughs> Excited. No, it's a bit muddy. I can see water there, Lucy. This way. Yeah, so if you want to come here, guys, it's High Beach, Epic. Come this way. It's a bit too muddy there. I can see you. I think like, a tractor has been up that way and left its uh, wheel prints. What was that? What was that? Oh, there was a little hole. I didn't see it. it, was camouflaged, camouflaged with leaves. Spooky forest, scary forest. <laughs> and, uh, a little camp there, in a 
we're going to burn it. <laughs> Gravings. How is that, Lucy? Trees over there. Right over there. Try and get there. Let's see if we can get there. That's a funny shape, wasn't it, as well? Come on, Lucy. Woo! Come on. Something's trying to stop us from going there, Lucy. I'm not going to stand on that because it looks slippery. No, and you've got loads of uh, was it blackberry bushes here. So, see if we can go around. I think we can go around, Lucy. I'm only doing it for your sake. If I'm holding a camera, I won't be able to do my balance. I wouldn't balance properly, Lucy. Ooh, careful, because these, these uh, blackberry bushes, the tentacles, like tentacles, are on the floor and you can't see them. There's a trip, trip hazard. Who told them there's a trip hazard there, Lucy? That's a bit squidgy there, Lucy. We'll get up there. Squidgy that way. So let's go walk this way. Whoa, whoa, that's careful. Oh, and that's slapping me in the face. <laughs> You're definitely gonna have a bath when you get in. Oh, there's a house over there. Some private houses. Let's see, another funny tree. Oh, I see a squirrel, Lucy. Wow, it's definitely cold. I can feel it. There's no sunlight here. I'm feeling the cold from all my lips, my chin, and my cheeks. Yeah. Look at that. Tripped me over. Look at that. See? Told you. Wow. What a spooky place. Well, this jacket's certainly keeping me nice and warm. I think it was a bargain. I paid £35 for this jacket from Amazon. Wow. I love things like this. Look at that tree, the way it's tangled itself up, where it's been left alone to grow. All the branches going in and weaving in and out. Absolutely awesome. That's why I don't like where I live. I prefer to live somewhere like this. I love nature. I love things naturally grow. That's where the tractor went, over there. So we need to go round the block. Wow. Hey, Lucy, this way. Yeah. You cold, darling. Is it too cold for you? She says, I don't care. I love it here. What an exploring place to be. In the summer, this must be absolute. It is. In the summer here, it's just packed. Loads of dog walkers. Yeah. Right. Give me a minute, guys. Right, I'm back. Still exploring. Well, wow. hey, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's brightening up. The sun's trying to come out. Hey, open sesame! Well, down there, that, that really looks spooky down there, guys. It is so thick. Whoa, that is awesome down there. Shall we have a quick look? Oh, you want your wee as well, Lucy. Well done. Oh, I need some more of these tablets I'm on. Well, I think we better not go too far. We'll get stuck. It looks quite spooky down here. But these are all tree roots from the tree. Bit of a trip hazard, you could just fall over and just bang your head. And uh, easy, Lucy. We've literally come down a hill. Hang on, watch out. Well, then we'll go that direction if we can. This is an old character. Look at that, it's just been left there. It's been uprooted. Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. The root has been quite recently actually because the roots look fresh, the soil looks fresh. Quite a big tree. Oh, it's got tags, they've got tags on them. Maybe it was struck by lightning or some sort of disease. Oh, are they mushrooms growing in there or someone's left something? They are mushrooms, aren't they? Look at that. What is that? Something caught fire, lightning strike, maybe. Look at that, they've got tags. What? Maybe diseased up, I'm not sure, but it's like burnt, charcoal burnt. Come Lucy, come out just in case you, could, you catch some sort of disease. Come on. I don't know what it is. I think somebody's burnt it and pulled it over. That's what it looks like. But you might have had a lightning strike. Somebody has played here because they've made them a makeshift swing out of rope and a bit of a branch. Come on Lucy. Oh, she's like, oh, see, look, trip has it. See that? Attacking Lucy. As Lucy's being attacked. We have to go through there and make our way up. Well, we haven't seen a soul, really. 
maybe it looks how, how quiet that is during the week. I suppose uh, week, I don't really come out of the weekends. So I don't, it's too busy and there's too much traffic. That's what cheeses me off. And plus you've got so many dog walkers come out the weekend. And Lucy, she doesn't really get on with dogs. So you can see loads of kids have been in airplane making themselves little shelters and stuff like camps. It's a lovely place to come for a walk with a dog. I think we have to go towards the right, Lucy, a little bit. Go up there and go up that way. The car park was three pounds for two hours. Not too bad, I suppose. Should be free, really. There you go. All these councils are making money. That's how they do it. Very hard to find something free. But there is, if you look for it, if you, if you do your homework before you go out, look online, places, free places to park and stuff like that, you'll find it. We need to go up there and head out that, that direction. There are a little creek here, Lucy. Looks like I have to put these trainers in the wash, I suppose. Ooh, slippery. Yeah. We need to go around there then. This way, Lucy. Or go up that way. That's it. Come this way. Better very steep they slip over and I don't fancy having a muddy bum sit in the car with a muddy bum dark here isn't it dingy and dark <laughs> I don't know what it's like it's quite light Ooh. I must say uh, this is the spookiest forest I've seen don't forget let me know if you know any more spooky forests that you go to that you think it's spooky come this way Lucy now we need to go up there really straight Lucy straight ahead good girl Go and get a cup of tea for that tea stall, yeah? Cup of tea, please. See how much it is. I bet they charge a lot because not a lot of people cook. Yeah, you, you, you're just wild there. They very, they spot you before you spot them. Unless you're in a car going past. I know she's happy, Lucy. She's come out today in the forest. Wow, bit of a stroll this, isn't it? Uphill all the way. Good exercise, Lucy. I'm looking for some deer. I can spot a deer in the distance, maybe. But I'm sure they spot you first. They've got really sharp eyes. Oh, somebody's got a tent up there. I don't know if you can see it blue and orange. Up there. I thought I saw a deer up there sitting on the grass, laying on the grass and looking up with his ears up. <laughs> it's not, it's a log. <laughs> You've got some lunatics driving up there, Lucy. Very cold, Lucy. Sunshine. No daylight here. Come on, let's go. What was that? that a squirrel, it's quite a big squirrel. He's a huge squirrel. You can see him in the distance. Oh, it's a rabbit. Fat one. He's been eating all the nuts. See him right over there. Probably can't see him. He's camouflage. Right at the bottom of the trunk of that tree. Excuse me. That means it's time for a cup of tea. Yes, Mr. Squirrel. Oh, he's gone. That's why I spot you first. Good exercise for me. Going uphill. That's what I need. Good old jog up a hill. Didn't run. I'm running. Come on. Rocky, come on. ASB. Let's go. Oh, Lucy's running. Isn't that beautiful? That is so nice. Picturesque. Let me know if you like a forest like this, Luke, guys. Am I the only nutter? Do a vlog in the city and come out to a place like this. That's absolutely awesome. What's Lucy doing there? She's found something there. She just likes to smell there. She's trotted all the way. Look at that! Could you believe that? Lucy's freaking smelt. She come here and she smelt the ball, but she didn't like the taste. What? Unbelievable, Lucy. Hey? Roly poly. Unbelievable. How did you smell that ball? Ah, in that middle of that grass, she smelt the ball. A heavy one. This feels this heavy one. Don't you type of your ball, you don't like heavy balls like that. She has to do a roly poly, eh? Doing a roly poly. Gonna splash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're so special. Oh, you, you see. You are a special girl, hey? Good girl. That's why I knew you were special when I first saw you. When I first met you, the quiet one amongst all of them. And she sat back and she looked at me and I thought, yes, you're the one. They all come running to me like crazy, but she sat back and just looked at me. 
with her sad eyes. And she was the smallest one out of the lot. Her brothers and sisters are twice as big as her. And her mum, Matilda, her mum. But her dad was small, same size as her. Okay, we leave it, because we don't want to take it with us, do we? I know she's found a trophy, you see. Now it's dirty, you shouldn't be really, the way she found it, unbelievable. Enough now, she just loves playing ball, don't you? We're up a hill, Lucy, you, you're upside down. Enough now, shall we leave it? Come on, let's go. She'll probably bring it with her. Okay, I think we have to make our way that way. Leave it, darling. You've got loads of balls indoors. She just feels a trophy. She feels so happy that she's found a ball. Unbelievable. Good girl. It didn't taste nice, did it? I knew. I could see it don't taste nice because she was just so excited to find a ball. It's the way she found it. She smelt it, didn't you? Branch right in my face. Get a punch in the face by a branch. Right. Well, that was a bit of interesting. What we'll do, we'll come tomorrow. We'll come to Epping tomorrow. I think it'll be a bit too late. By the time we have a cup of tea and do the vlog in Epping. Yeah! And you can see what Epping village looks like, guys. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly at the top. Right, yeah. I think that's the best way to go this way, Lucy. And there's a trail there, but I don't know if we're... Go on then. It's an old trail. I don't know if it's grown over. Now that weed must be cold. Yes, yeah, okay. It's okay. Right, the tea hut's just there. How awesome is that? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Lucy. Lucy. Hold on. Stay there. That's a fantastic. What a good listening dog you are. Sometimes. <laughs> right, guys. We're here. We're parked over there. That's my car over there. Right. I don't like putting the cameras in people's faces, I don't know. So, I'll catch you in a minute. Right, this tree is a very special tree, guys. They've uh, put a uh, fencing around it because they've found a uh, structural weakness in the tree. This tree was planted in 1882. Wow, I've got such a thing for trees. 1882. That is old tree. Bless it. Look at the trunk of that tree. There you go. It's right opposite, almost opposite the King's Oak. You've got a little bar there as well, so you can go in there for a meal, or you can park there and go there. They probably do, but this uh, tea stall over there, the lovely tea, loose tea, not tea bag. I don't think it was tea bag tea. It tasted like loose tea. I think it's got an oyster bar there as well. So, so something about shack, oyster shack. Is it? Yeah, Oyster Shack Seafood Bar. So if you're into the, uh, seafood, you've got uh, smoke coming out the chimney out there. The oak there, guys. That means the restaurant's fired up, <laughs> ready to do the meals. Oh, I bet it's lovely in there. Never been in there, guys. Never been. Always, when I was young, used to park up. We used to walk around in the forest. A lot of people come at the weekend, park up here, go and get a meal. I heard it's quite nice actually. So this is a quick look. Right guys, catch you soon. Right guys, we've just had a uh, cup of tea in that tea stall over there. So uh, there's a few people that didn't really want to do, uh, pull out the camera in front of them and start vlogging. And some people don't like it, a bit on the elderly side. So uh, right, this has come to the end of this uh, video. So. Please leave a like uh, or a subscribe or comment. That really helps the channel. Much appreciated. And uh, au revoir from Yorkie Lucy. Yeah, she don't care because she's having a good old sniff. That's the oak pub over there, guys. So there's many ways of you coming. Remember I told you at the beginning of, uh, well, halfway through when we were coming through Loughton, if I went straight across, I'd be coming out of here, down there. So, right. We will catch you soon on the next vlog. Hopefully we'll do Epping tomorrow if nothing happens tomorrow. We'll shoot up Epping and we'll video Epping uh, town or village. Catch you soon. Au revoir.